In Nova Scotia, a judge urged the public to be cautious after a woman dubbed the Black Widow was handed her sentence today. The 78-year-old received three and a half years for spiking her new husband's coffee on their honeymoon last fall. As Ross Lord reports, some are wondering why the sentence was so lenient given the severity of the crime and her past. With a criminal record spanning more than four decades, Melissa Shepard is going back to prison, just not for as long as some people would like. Her official sentence for poisoning her newlywed is three and a half years. But with credit for time already served in custody, she could be out on parole in less than one year because the Crown dropped the main charge. The attempted murder charge just was not viable. Deciding there was no proof she tried to kill 75-year-old Fred Weeks, the Crown accepted a guilty plea to two lesser charges. The crimes came to light on their honeymoon at a bed and breakfast in Cape Breton, where it turned out Shepard had been slipping him large doses of prescription sleeping pills. She was administering drugs to him without his knowledge or consent. It was being done through uh, the drinks, uh, coffee. At 78 years old, the latest in a string of crimes that earned her the nickname Black Widow. She killed one heavily sedated husband in Nova Scotia by running him over with their car twice. Following the mysterious death of another husband, she met this Florida man, Alex Strategus, on an internet dating site. She later pleaded guilty to stealing his money and served four years in prison before being deported back to Canada. He also had unprescribed drugs in his blood system, which he believes have been disguised in ice cream. Today, Strategus suggests Shepard's latest sentence is absurd. I think it's crazy up there. you got crazy laws up there. <laughs> She should have been put away for good. But other than the judge warning people who have contact with her to be careful, prosecutors insist the facts and the law don't allow for a longer sentence. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.